Hi everyone. In this video tonight, let's have a look what does your crush think about you and um, do they feel the same feelings that you feel towards them. I have four different tarot card decks here, number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of your person and choose a deck. And take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one. What is this person? How do they see you? What do they think of you? Okay, so judgment here. It might be that they think that you keep calling them all the time, you know. You keep calling, you keep appearing from like from the dead. You can say you disappeared and now you're appearing again. So this card often talks about phone calls. For example, someone's calling you. So they, they might, you might call, be calling them, you know. So they might be thinking that you kind of come out from, from nowhere, coming back to their life, calling them, kind of startling them somehow. Like some sort of long-forgotten thing, long-forgotten relationship that is back. These are also the car, this is also family, you know, like a family. So they might think of you like you, you're married, you have a family, that sort of thing. Okay, what are their feelings? Let's see, do they have a crush on you? Well, two of wands is, well, feelings... They're kind of in between, then undecided, you know. I think they are still kind of uh, thinking. And this card also talks about some sort of distance, you know. They're about to, like, they're curious. They might be curious. They might be getting to know you slowly, slowly. So they're kind of wanting to see what this relationship might bring, what you might bring into their life. So it's still uh, emotional distance here. So I wouldn't say that, you know, they're in love or something. I would say that maybe they have a relationship from before or something. And they're still thinking, should I take this or not? You know, that sort of feeling. What about their intentions so this shows whether they want to have something to do with you or not well five of swords unfortunately is they are uh, intentions are to break up with you you know it's just uh, they're not hiding it they might even not be they might use you and then break up or they might even reject you know you or they might communicate that those bad news to you which is hurtful um, so basically their intentions are not nice as you can see here um, so so what is the advice for you regarding your crush well page of source page of source can show us that this person is very you know mean you know, as a person, so you should be aware of that and act accordingly. For example, if you don't, if you don't want to get hurt, you also be mean, or you just keep away because you know they're like that. This is like a bad kid in school who doesn't have any problem to offend you. Uh, that sort of feeling is going here, and they might hurt you. I think they might criticize or say something a bit hurtful, like a comment or something. So. Uh, if you know that, I think it's better if you kind of, you know, keep away from them. Now, let's see past, present, future of your relationship. Past, it's like you're studying or working together or something like that. Present, maybe a little bit of communication happened in future. Um, it's not happening because... Uh, one of you is not allowing that to happen or you're shy or you're just stop you will stop to talk to them or something like that so we have that sort of situation here let's have a look at our deck number two 
We're asking about your crush. Oops. So what does your crush think about you? How do they see you? Well, Four of Cups is like um, a little bored person. Always, uh, Maybe they just visualize you sitting somewhere uh, at the table, at the desk or table somewhere, talking to someone, not paying any attention to them. They might um, think that you're not interested in them. You know, you're not interested in them and you're not even looking at them. You're not... You know, it can be that they might think you're weird because, you know, let's say it's weird that you're not paying attention to them or it's weird um, because you seem to be like a philosophical person, you're not easily pleased, you know, you're a little bit difficult to be around, you're a little bit unpredictable, you know, that sort of feeling is there. So you're like a, a personality, let's say, and with an attitude and, and they kind of, they don't know. They don't know how to be around you. So what are the feelings towards you? Well, Queen of Cups, the feelings of looking at the card, it seems that they like you. You know, they like you and they might want to write you something like a poem or a note or a message. You know, maybe they're drawing you or, you know, they feel like some sort of creativity happening to them and they want to create something while looking at you so feelings i feel they might be in love with you actually here because you look so unapproachable i think that's the part of the fun and what are their intentions towards you will they talk about it well intentions of course to be friends to 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 be together to to get into a relationship to hug you to be with you you know like uh, such a warm feeling so if not a hug and all that, it can be that they simply want to go on a date. They want to go to the to eat out somewhere. They want to go to go to uh, sorry. <laughs> they want to go to the cinema. They want to go somewhere, be together with you in some building, and maybe eat food or watch a movie. Okay, so I think this is pretty good. Um, looking at this. So let's uh, have a look at, I think, what was the question? What, um, so what is the advice for you regarding this person? Crush, what is the advice? Well, the stars here, we have the star card, but it looks like three of cups. It seems like friends. It seems like uh, technology, internet, and um, maybe talking to each other on the phone, uh, meeting on social media, that sort of thing. So I think here it might advise for you to somehow connect with that person and be friends. Try to, if you don't want one-on-one, -on -one, you can be the group. Uh, you can meet on social media. You can like their posts or something. So we have this definitely some sort of togetherness, some sort of interaction now, let's see, past, present, future, and your relationship. Past, well, just shows like a very normal, um, professional, some sort of relationship, not showing your feelings, just talking what you, saying what you have to say, like not talking too much. Everything is under control. Everything is normal, like polite and, and things like that. What about present, the present? Nine of... Pentacles. Well, it seems like your relationship. It might be work relationship. It might be some school relationship where uh, there's a lot of money involved or some business and lots of talking about things like work, things like business, things like something like that. But people are not together yet. You know, what about the future relationship between you two? It seems like... I, I don't know, maybe you both are going to be so busy and so tired and so under pressure that you might not be able to talk to each other because this card is about being bogged up by things. So looking at this work and this justice, it seems like you're really, really maybe mad at work or are about work and you're so busy and you want to be together when you think about each other. And 
it's encouraging to connect but uh, realistically speaking you're gonna be very busy both of you it can be people are shy from sometimes this, this can talk I'm available and kind of showing that you're available and waiting for the other per person to step the first step but you're kind of not doing it you might be uh, being visible, making yourself visible to that person somehow and waiting until they will come up to you and you can wait all your life, it will never happen so maybe that person does the same so basically uh, it says friendship, it says um, group, celebration, together, being together, etc. and hopefully some sort of action and in you know initiative will help this relationship happen our deck number three we're reading about your crush what does your crush think about you how do they view you king of swords King of Swords can mean that either they think you're this very scary person, uh, maybe you're wearing a uniform, maybe you're a police officer, maybe you're an army military person or a doctor, surgeon, something like that. So they kind of see, see us serious, you know, like you're a serious person, you know, you're wearing these clothes, you have this education, you're this and that. And maybe you're even very noble person. Like you have some, um, you know, from a good family or something, you know, that's sort of they take you seriously. I think the other meaning can be they think you're a horrible person. They they think you're a very scary person in a in a way that you might be handsome or beautiful, but you might be very cold and people might be scared of you. So you might be intimidating and the person is afraid. But King of so if you're female and King of Swords comes out, it can talk about the fact that you are a wife of a surgeon or you are with some father who is very strict or in, in the police or a judge or something like that. And the person automatically kind of associates you with that person and with that kind of uh, stereotype and their that's how they see you it can be someone super intelligent doing their phd in psychology you know um at the university so there's something very serious like older person maybe i should respect this person or it can be total fear like i should be careful about what i say to this person you know that sort of thing now let's have a look at feelings what do they feel about you Well, three of coins is friendship, friendly feelings, good feelings, like let's work together, let's do things together. Um, it's like uh, they see you as a kind of friend, colleague, someone they talk to, someone they do things with you, but it doesn't... It can talk about uh, love triangle sometimes. They see you as a third or as additional person it can be seen as like a group mental like a group feeling yeah like someone from work or someone from like a colleague you know that sort of feeling now what are their intentions towards you nine of cups well, these cards talk about lust and wanting a person, so uh, most likely attraction, physical attraction, things like that. Intentions in the future might be the will want to. Um, some sort of pleasure is there. Pleasure, satisfaction, lust, um, something that they need, something pleasure for them. You know, so I don't understand, like, exactly how can it be. Well, it can be they want to have intimate relationships straight uh, with you. They want to have romance and love and all that. Okay. Um, 
some sort of pleasure, some sort of indulgence in, in emotions and pleasures of life. That sort of feelings they have for the future, the intentions. So let's have a look now. What is advice for you regarding this person? Well, Seven of Swords is definitely be careful because this person might be a cheater. This person might just use you for what they want and then dump you, for example. Uh, Seven of Swords is a card of an affair. It's a card of cheating. It's a card of um, being careful. You might not know this person. You know, maybe you will be cheating with this person. Basically, it's not fair. It's some sort of element in this is not fair. So, I don't like the way they don't have feelings and they want such intimate things and the fact that they're king of swords. So, it doesn't kind of make sense, you know. So, from that perspective, I think uh, be careful uh, and then trust this person. Don't trust them with the seven of swords. They might be having a plan behind your back. Okay, what, let's have a look, past, present, future, maybe we can see, what is the past between you two, okay, six of clubs, let's say, um, good feeling, um, a relationship is going well, good communication, things like that, maybe they looked, uh, they seemed to you like the prince on the white horse, and they made an impression as a very successful and, um, charismatic personality and maybe your relationship was quite successful with them up till now it's pretty successful you know that sort of thing uh so let's see the what's happening right now present hermit shows that you haven't met <laughs> you haven't met or maybe because of lockdown you're kind of in your own place they're in their own place uh it shows that you were not together, yeah? You were on your own, you and them. Future. Well, in the future, Seven of Cups can talk about various opportunities when it comes to your relationship, like they're offering you a date or, you know, in a way that you have to decide, etc. But it can still talk about the fact that you will be having crush on them and you will be fantasizing and dreaming about them and, you know, it, it will never kind of you know end uh, it doesn't show manifestation it's more of a wishful thinking is happening in the future as well so that means that um, I don't know maybe didn't talk to you you didn't um, you didn't go to this place you didn't have a date you know and they didn't get to use you so it didn't get to that point but they want to let's see why uh, let's pull a clarification card for the seven of cups the high priest says you're keeping it in your heart you're not telling about it so how can they know you know um about the fact that you're having crush on them. So something like that we have in this reading. Let's have a look at tarot deck number four, golden tarot deck. What is this per what is this person? What does your crush think about you? How do they see you? temperance well it can be someone very calm like a good girl type of person good person you know um maybe they see you pouring cup um, things from one to another like you're serving tea or something maybe you're a waitress maybe you're working at the lab maybe you're wearing a white gown maybe you're a nurse so there is something angelic about you that they see you as a very shy and good person, you know. In 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 some cases can point to your profession, what you do for a living, and through that profession they might see you. Usually this card comes for someone who works in the lab, someone works as a nurse, 
It can be also sometimes translator and a person who's a waitress or can be a housewife. If they saw you pouring them a tea or coffee or you might be a secretary, let's say a person who makes tea for them. Or a person who's just gentle and kind. And so let's say that's how they see you. And what is the feelings? What are the feelings? Chariot. The feelings towards you. Well, the chariot is like a vehicle, so it's kind of fleeing. It's when it can be strong feelings. But it's also kind of moving. Like getting away from you. Maybe they want it. Maybe they feel the distance that is between you. So there is some sort of. Also duality. Page of cups. And. Eight of Cups. Well, this means travel and this means travel. So maybe the feelings are right now that not very strong. Um, because chariot can sometimes mean a very strong determination type of feelings. Like I want to get you, I want to have you. Sometimes it can mean wanting but trying to control oneself. Sometimes it can mean even, you know, duality. And sometimes it can mean simply running from there. So I'm pulling two more cards with Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. As you can see, it this confirms that. This is your love. So it's like, maybe it's vehicles and cars. If it makes sense, sometimes it can happen that if transport makes sense in in this case maybe they wanted to uh, give you a lift with a car or something maybe they wanted to drop you somewhere so the feelings that they want to drop you somewhere uh, like that sort of thing um, but overall fleeting is coming fleeting like maybe they feel that you're not constant there. Maybe they saw you on the, on the street. Maybe something like that. So something like that here. It can be that they met you for once and then they kind of lost you. And you kind of disappeared from their eyesight. So that's where the fleeting feelings like of distance, streets, cars, something like that. Okay, so let's have a look at their intentions towards you. Well, here they're interested. It shows that this person is interested uh, and they would be interested in getting to know you more and, you know, having a relationship here. Knight of Cups is they're really interested, okay? Okay, what is advice for you regarding this person? Uh, the star. The star is an advice. Usually keep the hope and uh, maybe this person will reappear somehow. Um, the star can have other meanings like, you know, pointing you to... You know, like a compass, finding that person somewhere, um, searching for that person on the internet, uh, you know, and uh, kind of like a some like a sailor in in a boat, you know, when he is in the sea, is trying to get where he wants to get. Like in olden days, you know, they would refer to stars and to guide them through that sea. So I feel is either search them in a way of hoping to see them again or Google them somehow, trying to find them on the net. 
but usually it's just very abstract uh, card it doesn't give any reassurance it's basically waiting and hoping to meet them but they might never appear you never know it might take time you know here so that's sort of you can only hope here you can only hope okay let's have a look now at past present future of your relationship past again very, like some sort of hi hello nice meeting a uh, very good feeling prince on the white horse the horse is here white horse and overall successful yeah conversation maybe you had or something you saw them going somewhere you, they saw you you said hi you looked at each other something like very successful um, that felt like you have a chance with that person um, now what about now okay we have the wheel of fortune what's happening between you now we kind of have a situation of a family <clears throat> here of course will a fortune is a change and uh, the situation changed but it, we have clearly a family card here maybe you are with your family they are with their family in their own homes and that's where you're focusing yeah what is happening well, if you're married with each other, it kind of shows that they're caring for you and you're together and all that. But the other car shows like you're separated, you're not together. So maybe you're living your life and they're living their life and that sort of thing is happening. What about the future? What will happen in the future? king of cups we have a good card now if king of cups is if you're in a relationship right now with especially a king of cups which is air water sign which can be cancer pisces scorpio sign um it might be that you will be with your partner only you know that's your partner right now uh, but if you're asking about that other person it can be that they will still be present in your life somehow in your thoughts or you know somehow will you meet ace of swords death ace of coin coins i feel like it's hardly possible but there will be a chance um, you might meet again through work, through some sort of business, through some sort of contract. So that sort of uh, opportunity will be there. It's kind of difficult, yeah. But it says, yes, opportunity will be there. What can you do to meet that person? Try and work hard sorry try hard yeah to me that person maybe you will if you're stubborn and you'll, you'll wait you might meet them but it says it might be better if you don't also because it's kind of very strong effort card and you know sometimes it's you're not sure if you were together would it work out king of wands can be a little bit difficult person look fights it shows fights <laughs> i spoil everything for you your dream and your hope because it shows the king of wands that person it's not an angel they are very much and they're very angry and hot-headed and they have their own way to things and most likely they would fight with you it can be they would fight because of money with you and they'll like they might burst out very quickly you know they might be a kind of that sort of person so you don't know that person actually if it's a stranger you met and you had a crush so 
I think it's okay to remember them and all that, but Seven of Wands shows that it's better not to do anything to meet them. And um, and especially if you're in a relationship, so it's better to appreciate your relationship. Um, opportunity might be again to meet with them. Advice when you meet them. Well, it shows... Um, like a married woman so maybe it's being like a married woman with them uh, overall treating like a mother treats children and know your limits and don't show your feelings that sort of thing is here Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope that I answered your question and I hope that this talked about your crush and you could connect to this reading. So, thank you again and I hope to see you again next time. Have a wonderful evening and have a wonderful night and day and see you later. Bye.